Hi, welcome to the part two of this video series. We are looking at AWS DevOps Engineer Professional Certification Real Questions. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for questions one to five. Please refer part one of this video series. Let's jump into question six. So this question is talking about getting real time alerts that is near real time status updates that means you need to get emails or email notifications so let's check the services here out of these services you can see only sns topic is the service which is useful for sending emails sqs is a queued service usually with sqs we club sns topic subscriptions to send emails sns can only send emails here we are talking about seeing those changes in a ui system but seeing those changes does not mean near real time status updates similarly here also you are seeing these changes in ui for the system this is not equivalent to near real time status updates we will lock this answer and move forward now let us look into this question so this question is asking about ec2 elastic ip eip is elastic ip and if we talk about elastic ip it is associated with a region and not with other options so if you see this documentation it talks about aws accounts are limited to five elastic ip addresses per region we will lock this answer and move forward now this question we are talking about scaling and rds deployment there are two things which are key first is a 10 percent write rate and a 90 percent read rate since the reads are more than writes if you see this option it talks about creating read replicas for rds since the load is mostly reads this looks apt so currently you have a database this is the database and it is getting uh, most of the reads so requests are coming for reads and some writes only 10 percent writes. so what we are saying in option c is we will create read replicas here so that all the read requests can go in here because there are 90 percent of the read request and th this one can only receive one 10 percent write rate so that we can split read and write operations so this is the right answer but let's look at why other options are wrong so a if you look at a it says you have like this is the master you have and all the reads and writes are happening through this place now what it says is you create one more master so that there will be two masters and both will be blocked with both will do reads and both will do uh, reads and writes this is writes and this is reads but this is not a straightforward solution the question says a straightforward solution so a is wrong now with option b it says cache all database responses so this is the database we have in yellow and then i can put a cache here okay so that all the responses that means this 90 percent read data can hit this cache directly instead of the database okay but will this work so for this purpose i'll have to put a cloud front service here to cache so seems perfectly logical but why this cannot be an answer is because you are looking to scale scale an rds deployment when you want to scale you will relying on a replica a read replica is more reliable rather than relying on a caching system cache only works fine if the data is already there in the cache if the data is not in cache it will still hit the system and all the new queries will still clock this database hence b is wrong now here in last option option d we are talking about multi az rds installs this will not help in this way because even if it is multi az it still means that you will have master across different deployments or different az's so we will lock this and move forward so in this question we i have to answer 
policy which policy is valid version is valid so we have the these options out of which we have to choose one so if you see this documentation this is the latest one and hence this is the right answer and if you see here this date this was the earlier version in the latest one everybody should use this version let's look at the next question so what is the right procedure for defining conditional requirements see two things you have to remember uh, whenever you are using this is the right answer and this instead of is you have to use equal to two times and for the and operator you should use and itself you cannot use this one or ampersand and so on okay please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like my videos this brings us to the end of part 2 stay tuned for many more such parts